Today's video, I'm going to show a short version of a scuba tunnel, and it will include only a presentation. To watch the long version of a scuba tunnel, click here. So for the start, we will need to cut 8 strings that are about 1 half meters long. Now I'm going to take a 2 strings and make a square out of them, and then I'm going to lose one of our strings and I'm going to take a new string and weave it in between these two strings and then I'm going to add another string in between these two strings and weave it and then I'm going to take the strings and stretch it. Now I'm going to take this string and loose it and I'm going to add a new string in between these two strings and weave it. Then I'm going to add another new string. Then I'm going to stretch the strings. And then I'm going to loose this string and add a new string in between these two strings and stretch it. Now I'm going to take this string and put it in between these two strings and then weave the string and this one these two strings and then I'm going to add a new string in between these two strings and weave it and then I'm going to stretch all the strings and this is how it should look like and for the second stitch I'm going to take these four strings and weave with these four strings and then I'm going to weave the rest as I showed here and from now on it will repeat itself from step 13 and until step 15 you'll continue making these three steps until you want to finish the the um, scuba tunnel. So when you want to finish the scuba tunnel, you can have two options: either to cut the strings, like here, or to make the end stitch, as I showed in the long version. And you can click it here to get to the point of the end stitch. So after this, you finish the scuba tunnel.